coach. You, Chris, you're the head coach for the NFC Coach of the so uh, how long have you been the head coach? This is my second season. I, I started last year with the team from uh, the Zancaster. So we moved there from uh, Zancaster over to Hamilton and we gave an answer to the Coach of the Bees here. So it's our first year here. It's, uh, it's uh, rebranding of sorts. The Bees are back, is what I'm saying. So uh, no, we're really happy to be here. We love the facility, we love the city. Um, and it's been real exciting so far. So now, do you come, have you been playing hockey your whole life? What's your background? Yep. Yeah, I, well, like a lot of guys, uh, I'm a young coach. Uh, you know, I've been playing hockey since I was about four years old. I grew up in North Bay, Ontario. Um, so I, I played all the way up there. I, I played uh, a four year major junior career. I went on to play CIS at the University of Guelph. Um, I spent some time in the East Coast League, spent some time over in Europe playing as well professionally. So uh, it's fairly well traveled. And, you know, once I retired, I decided I wanted to get into the game in some capacity. Um, did it numerous different things scouting, coaching, you know, helping here as an assistant GM over there. Um, but at the end of the day, I found a home here in Hamilton as a, as a coach at 50 degrees. That's great. So now, how, what's it take to become a coach? Because it's one thing to become a player. Well, I think the general advice to us is uh, very similar to what it would be for any sort of Oh, yeah. It, it, if you're really passionate about what you do and you're really excited about what you do and you're willing to commit to it, um, you know, you're willing to learn away from just the obligations the job and job you're forced to do, and, and you're actually put the time and you can be successful at anything. Um, you know, once I, I left hockey, I had a sales job, I had job functions, and uh, I had a real itch to, to get back into the game squad, and I just took baby steps. And like I said earlier, I started as a scout. Uh, I started as, as an assistant coach with a weekly team in the junior A side. It was a tough year. You just kind of uh, build the relationship with people and, and, and try to show people that you're going to work hard and hope an opportunity comes your way. Um, you know, such as now, when we're here with the bees and we're having a good time. I think these guys listen to you well, that you know, that probably discuss their own from coming through the room. Yeah, I, I'm trying to get a, a bunch of 16 to 20 year old teenage hockey players to listen to come through the tough challenges. Yeah. But, um, you know, luckily I was one. I, I understand that, so I understand where they're coming from. Um, but at the end of the day, they're, they're just people. They want somebody to teach them. They want, they want somebody who can show them things. They want somebody that creates a positive environment. Um, it, you know, it's it's a lot of fun to be with them every day as well. I really enjoy coming to hang out with teenagers. They're, they're as much fun to hang out with them as anybody. So, um, no, look, it, it, it's been really exciting to work this group. It's a really young team here in Hamilton. So, um, a real opportunity to try things and push players. And, uh, they really crave coming to hang They crave, they want to be here. So. Um, it's a really fun thing to do. Now this, this show is all about, for that young person that wants to be, you know, on the field to me as well. Hey, what, what do you look, because you've got a wealth of information, what do you look for when you're looking for players to bring on to us? One of the things you notice really quickly is how passionate somebody is about playing the game. I mean, if a player is really truly competitive, they tend to four check hard. They, check, they tend to skate hard. They tend to care about where their position is. Um, a lot of things, you know, after years of watching hockey, you can pick up on that. Where the competitiveness really is at, and, and the passion fuels competitiveness. And so um, that's one of the things we look for. Obviously, we look for all the things that everybody can see. We want a good skater, not a bad skater. We want somebody who's smart. Players, good hands, good shot, and all those things that everyone knows how to win hockey games, we see it too as coaches. So, um, good people that are passionate about what they do, they're competitive, with good physical attributes, and make a great game. How much do you focus on the team? Because hockey is such a team, team sport. When you're looking for players, are you looking at those people with high scoring goals, or is it more about somebody who's going to connect and be kind of like that? You need a balance. You, you need individuals to have some of the best seasons for the team to have success. We know that. We respect that. But at the same time, it's not a situation where everybody's casting in a role or they're yes. always being relied upon. Exactly. So you need guys to play away from the pocket. Um, there's no glory in the in the burning of your legs on a hard back check in the third period. It's just something that you have to do if you want to win. It's not fun taking out the hard hit from a big player. Situations like that are are things that we ask guys to do for the team and we try to create a group and an environment where guys are excited to make those sacrifices for the team. If somebody comes in and they're already kind of working in a position for a long period of time, have you, have you ever thought of changing them? You, you know, somebody's making a better defense, but are you able to make those changes and you find at this level that everybody's going to be 
No, we make changes all the time. Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> it's going to go tonight. Well, I don't know if I'm going to that extreme, but yeah, I mean, we will move a left winger to the right or we'll move centers around. We like guys to, to, to play different positions. A, a lot of times, we, what we take pride in, especially as we go on our programs, a player might be able to play center at this level, but perhaps they have to project as a winger at the next. So, and, and, and the growth that occurs in that process is important that it gets started earlier in our situation and not have them uh, really scrambling to figure it out at the next level. So we try to help players that way and we try to do what's best for the team. Um, we'll even convert forwards and D around. I mean, we haven't had to do that this season, but it's been done before. Um, even myself, I've played games of forward as well, and I was a defenseman, so I get what that's all about. Um, no, we have no problem uh, undertaking a, a switch like that if you have to. And you're able to, to put these guys up and turn them around. How much of it is the commitment to being on the team like this for the players? It's a huge commitment. Like, and we make no secret of it. And I think that's what the players want too. They want to be in a program that is very committed. Um, and we're not hypocrites. As coaches, we're in here, we put in the work that we have to do. So, um, no, no, look, we want guys to care. We want guys to, to, to want to put the work in the work. We're at the right five, six times a week. And you should see the workouts they're doing. They're not fun. Right? You know, so, um, if, you, if you want to be a hockey player, you have to commit. And, and we work our players pretty hard, so the commitment they get is, is, is really nice, it's yeah. extraordinary. Now, I understand that you're an award-winning coach. Uh, <laughs> I think that's a, tell us about some of the awards you've got as a coach. Uh, uh, just the one. <laughs> just uh, the one. You know, I, I was working out for him last year. Uh, that, you know, an award like that is really a, a representation, I think, of the whole program. We did an excellent job with the time that we had building the team and bringing it together. Um, you can't do it without the players and the leadership group. You can't do it without the players.